Welcome to Retired in the World. My name is Eddie and I'm talking to you today on a cold, chilly afternoon in autumn. But I wanted to talk about a topic that I think is really important because there's a lot of takes on it. And that is, what is retirement? Well, retirement means different things to different people. And I guess when I talk about retirement, I start from what it was when I was a kid, or at least in my mind when I was a kid. When people would retire, they would basically stop working forever. And they would then attend to hobbies and things that they wanted to do, go on trips, uh, just uh, not work anymore and live the rest of their life is the new chapter in their life, if you will. Well, things have changed a lot since I was a kid uh, looking at people who retired. Today, retirement is a whole different concept. Uh, for me, retirement means that you no longer prioritize having to work to make money at a job that you may or may not even like. I uh, recently have retired and it's something that I'm enjoying but it's something that happened without much fanfare I always envisioned that when I retired it was going to be the gold watch or it was going to be uh, my workmates throwing me a big party and the family would come and enjoy this new volume of my life opening up that's not how it works um, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that retirement is just it's more a mental state of mind than it is a day on the calendar that you work until so for me uh, when I retired I basically came to peace with the idea that I wouldn't be going into work anymore on a schedule that I wouldn't be beholding to a group of people that I otherwise probably wouldn't even associate with. I wouldn't be looking forward anymore to a paycheck um, that was there on a regular basis. But truly, it, retirement is a state of mind. So with that considered, I look at what I'm going to do with it. So for me, this is a great opportunity to do what I heard other people who came before me did when they retired, and that is uh, look at new things, have new experiences, go out and learn something new, take on hobbies, volunteer, travel, whatever interests you. Now, in defining what is retirement again, it's not just an act of stopping work or earning an income in a prescribed way. Because people still earn money in many capacities, especially today. I mean, digital nomads are very popular, uh, so popular that many countries offer digital nomad um, visas now. It's just ordinary and common and no big deal to get a digital uh, nomad visa in many countries. Uh, as long as uh, you pay taxes on the money you earn while you're overseas. So that's something you always have to keep in mind. You can't just uh, be a digital nomad, make money, and um, not pay taxes on it. So something to consider. Also, there's other ways to earn money while you're still retired, if that's what you wish to do. Uh, there's an old saying, you know, do what you love and you never work a day in your life. <laughs> well, there is an element of truth in that. And when you are professed to be retired, that is an opportunity where you can start doing things that you like or love. And um, sometimes you can draw income from that. So. For me, I think in retirement, I'm going to look at it as 
more a chance to go do different things. Um, I'm definitely going to do some volunteering. I enjoy teaching English as a second language to adults, and that's something that I'm going to uh, continue to do and, and ramp it up a little bit. And so I, I've hooked up with a literacy uh, program here in my city, and so I'm going to start to uh, volunteer more there for a while. I'm also looking overseas to figure out where I'm going to travel, and um, I am actually in the process of looking for a home in Italy. And I'm going to have a, a video soon on how that process is coming along. But the aim of this channel is to um, explain uh, my experiences being retired uh, throughout the world because I do have plans to visit different places uh, and different countries. Uh, I also have plans to go to different states as well within the U.S. Uh, so it, it, it truly is a retired in the world kind of focus that I, that I have. So I'd like to share that with you as I do it, the good, the bad, and the ugly of all of that. Uh, one of the things I'm very sober about here is that being retired is not um, going to be, uh, I'm not going to describe it in fanciful terms. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Uh, being retired is, is good in some ways, like you don't have to work for the man if that's not what you want to do anymore. Uh, you do get closer to age where you can uh, get on Medicare. You're closer to getting on so Social Security. But even those programs, there's uh, many flaws with them. And the money you get from those programs that you've paid into for all these decades uh, is uh, it's, it's not equity. It's not equal. You don't get out what you paid in. So, uh, you know, you have to consider that, too, when you are retired. Income streams are very important when you're retired, and you realize just how much you did not prepare uh, properly in getting those income streams when you need them. So uh, that's something that, you know, is a reality. And being retired uh, really drives that home. So I will discuss that in due time. Uh, so uh, I want, the, one of the goals of the channel is to uh, have the viewer uh, feel more prepared in reaching retirement age and planning beyond that because there's a whole life to live when you're when you hit your mid 50s 60s uh, your mid 60s and, and you know beyond uh, that's a whole new chapter of life and no one is going to be as prepared as they need to be for it or very few people and Okay, so you can still live life, you can still do things, you can still be productive, uh, if you, you know, even if you don't have all the money in the world that you need to pay for everything. Now you learn to get creative. You, you learn to, um, you know, scale back where you need to scale back. And you learn to enrich yourself as well in the areas that are important to you. So there's a whole bunch of reasons to... Uh, look forward to being of the retirement age. Uh, the biggest, though, and where you really have to get in touch with yourself is you really have to be willing to reach out. You have to leave your house. You have to stay plugged in to the community. You have to be active. You know, you have to walk. You have to exercise to the best of your capability. It's so easy to just be withdrawn, stay in your house, and say, hey, I'm retired, I don't want to talk to anyone I don't need to talk to, or I don't want to do anything I don't need to do, or I've done my time, or whatever cliche or excuse you want to give to explain that, you know, why you're not getting out and being active. 
And the number one thing you can do for your health is to move. It's to keep moving. I can't stress that enough because you're not going to be able to do all the things you want to do and see all the sights and sounds and play with your your dogs on walks and, and my dogs are running around right now. I'm sure you can hear them. So um, in successive episodes, uh, you know, I will talk about uh, other facets of retirement. I'll talk about my progress of uh, my dog just jumped into the frame. I'll talk about my progress in, um, in, in my efforts in accomplishing things and just, and, and also, also stuff that I'm struggling with, you know, uh, because being retired or semi retired uh, presents a whole new host of problems, uh, challenges, you know, that comes with it. So I, I will share.